There is now a culture of drinking to get drunk, to go all night, to preload, to backload, and then to boast about drunken behaviour on Facebook or Twitter in the early hours of the morning. Something has changed, but what? The answer, we think, is a combination of social, environmental and economic drivers. Police commissioners believe the response required needs to not only um, come from a whole of government, but it actually needs to come from whole of community. In the same way the community stood up and said no to drink driving and no to domestic violence, saying no to the misuse of alcohol is the next cultural shift that is required in Australia and New Zealand. Um, this is one of my favourite, favourite quotes, um, that every child needs someone in his or her life who is absolutely crazy about them. Um, I think that's a, it's a critical aspect to think about these relationships. You know, you think about the children with whom you work, um, the children in your neighbourhood, the children in your community. Do they have someone, about, someone in their life who is absolutely crazy about them, who really thinks they'll be a success, who listens to them when they have something to say? Um, and if they don't, really think about ways, ways to go about changing that. It's interesting, we asked them, these young leaders, what they thought were the qualities of themselves and the other young leaders. And look at their list, you know, listening before talking, uh, approachable, brave, compassionate. Um, they can assess and read people and what they need, problem solver. It wasn't just good at playing sport and things like that. It was a list of quite interesting characteristics that they identified. So this is their true life story. Rejection, acceptance, poverty, begging on the streets, drug and alcohol addictions. Um, to an audience like this, I'm sure it didn't go unnoticed that the guy that was dancing the last, pe the last piece when he was lying with his arms, cuts all down his arms, this is his true current life story. In terms of risk, there are some activities that are lower risk and higher risk, but basically anywhere where there's blood present, there can be a risk of transmission. A low risk might be an example of sexual transmission. It's not considered to be a sexually transmitted infection. However, there are certain circumstances where blood may be present um, in both individuals and there's a risk of transmission there. Some moderate risk categories include mother to baby or vertical transmission, unsterile medical procedures, and needle stick injuries to healthcare workers and body art and tattooing kind of floats between moderate risk to high risk depending on the circumstances uh, but overwhelmingly the highest risk activity for hepatitis C transmission is the injection of drugs. And I went down to Blues Fest and um, it was the first festival that I'd gone to sober so I've always been a bit of an entrepreneur, made a bunch of cash um, from doing party buses to and from the festivals, and then all the cash would go away into drinking. So I spent this copious amounts of alcohol and complete inebriation at these festivals and this experience, and all of a sudden didn't have that. So I was like, okay, this festival's going to be um, interesting the first time. So I went down to Byron and, and um, I arrived at the festival, and, and you know, I seem to have lost my mates, or maybe my mates lost me, I'm not too sure. Um, but I turned up and then I ended up going to um, see this one performer that I'd only seen once before um, and his name was Michael Franti and I was standing there watching this guy perform and I was like oh my god like he just had this whole crowd of 5,000 people just completely captivated by what he was saying they were jumping he was saying yeah, everyone jump and the whole crowd was jumping and then then following that performance that everyone was seeing on the way home and it was a moment of realisation, I was like, well, if I want to inspire the change in people around me and, and in the culture at large, then I'd just be like this guy, you know? I can't be the guy pointing the finger, going, there's something inherently wrong with the culture. I need the person that's willing to stand up and put myself in that position where I'm inspiring people to jump up and, and dance with.